Illustrator, Stager, and You know, I can't think of a good one for Photoshop. Yeah, me neither. If you're interested in graphic design, chances are you got some experience using programs like Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and Stager. And when you use these programs with an NVIDIA Studio Badged laptop, you can experience some of the fastest performance you've ever seen. It's not faster than me. Well, I mean, if you're working in Adobe Illustrator, you can design graphics up to 3.2 times faster than on a conventional laptop. How did you do that? Editing. Hmm, well, speaking of editing, it's time for your favorite topic. <gasps> GPU accelerated, accelerated adjustments on complex, complex vector, vector graphics, graphics in Adobe, Adobe Illustrator? Illustrator? You know it. With an NVIDIA Studio Badge laptop, you can quickly interact with vector graphics smoothly with a little help from your GPU. We're talking pan across, zoom out, and zoom in. Here to talk more about what you can do in Illustrator is Brian Perez from NVIDIA. Hi, my name is Brian Perez and I'm senior visual designer here at Creative Marketing for NVIDIA. I've been working at NVIDIA for uh, six years and for about four of those, I've been on a studio laptop and it's been really great. Well, the primary advantage is basically you have a desktop that you can take with you. I think uh, these studio laptops are great, they're powerhouses, but in terms of graphic design, I've been able to have files like with a lot of big layers um, using Camera Raw. We do photo shoots and we composite stuff after the fact. And it just really helps streamline the process. And the fact is, I can be anywhere. Even within when I was in the office, I was, you know, sometimes I needed to be free of distractions and I would be in a different part of the office. And sometimes I need to be with creative people around me and, and have the laptop there. And it was just always there, ready to go. Having RTX is like, a game changer in terms of like 3D and being able to incorporate a lot of like, you know, Adobe uh, Substance and, and Stager into your workflow of like illustrating something, putting it on the label and seeing it in, in, in 3D and then bringing that back into your graphic design document. Having that GPU acceleration on the canvas is like paramount. It's like you can have big documents with a lot of artboards and work through it all. And that's what's really great. I get files from people on desktops and I can open them up and I can move through them and make my changes and send it their way. And I'm part of a bigger workflow with my laptop where everyone else could have a desktop. So I think that's like a big one there. Now let's talk about Photoshop. Hang on, we've discussed NVIDIA Studio's GPU boosted features in Photoshop with Sean Kilbride in a previous episode. You're right, we had him trapped in that photograph. Did we ever let him? Shh. Okay, we're just gonna recap the highlights of that discussion in a quick little... Song. You're gonna write a song explaining the NVIDIA Studio GPU accelerated features in Photoshop? When you've got a studio batch laptop, there's tons of boosted features in Photoshop. Over 30 accelerated features from your GPU. Blur gallery, liquify, and smart shopping too. Perspective warp modifies images smooth and quick. Upscaling with super resolution do the trick. This and neural filters all use AI to give you awesome boosts and features every time. Wow. Okay, so you really did write a song explaining the NVIDIA Studio GPU accelerated features in Photoshop. Yep. Ready to talk about Stager? Um, sure. When you If you didn't prepare one, don't sing. Copy that. When you're working in Adobe Substance 3D Stager, the RTX accelerated ray tracing can deliver photorealistic 3D renderings to 2D artists and designers. And there's even an advantage with denoising, which can result in highly interactive viewpoint performance. That's pretty intense for a laptop. Yeah, well hey, even when you're designing at home or on the go, you still need to make sure your tools are as precise as possible. The last thing you wanna do is promise your project is gonna look one way and then deliver something totally different in the end. Isn't that right, Devin Howard? Yes. Here to talk more about this, let's- Unbox this. No, toss it back to the interview with Brian. You're being really weird today, Devin. 
With the GPU acceleration, I mean, as you move in through a complex scene, things are just snappier. Like you're not there getting mad that something's not loading. You're panning, moving stuff, copying, pasting, bringing things from other documents, and it and it's working. Here at NVIDIA, it's like super fast paced, and so the deadlines are super tight. And I think if you're in this graphic design environment where things can be really tight and deadlines, like it really does help. I can have After Effects, Illustrator and Photoshop all open at the same time. I'm jumping in between them and I'm not noticing that it, things are slow. A lot of designers are using a multi tools and multiple tools, and NVIDIA works hard with app developers to make all those tools share that memory and share that GPU at the same time so that you can have them all open at the same time and work within. Another feature that I've, I've used a lot is, and I think is very relevant to graphic design, is like where you develop visuals and our requirements are like, uh, we need a visual for a website, uh, you know, X amount, you know, 2000 pixels wide by whatever. And then, you know, it becomes popular, um, popular sentiment that it's like, okay, now we want the same visual on a wall and, and it's like 25 feet long or whatever. And it's like, oh, I don't have enough, you know, how can I do that? So the super resolution comes in handy there where it used to be really time consuming to try to like either touch up places that are blurry or like hide some certain things, super resolution, I can blow it up really huge and it like, it looks good. It looks great. On top of that is being able to save these things out and then see it in an HDR screen. I think that's one of the big benefits with a studio laptop is a lot of people with desktops, they might they might have a great screen, but you're guaranteed a great screen with an RTX studio laptop. There is an element of future proofing that you get with a, a studio laptop. I think uh, if you're in college and you're working on a certain level of design there, you can bring it into your professional career and it still works it's still getting the job done and that's a a big plus like you're you're doing it giving an investment to something in your career and you can just take it with you and we're moving more and more in 3d and i think it's something to to consider um being having something that's 3d ready you know all of this technology was made for 3d and we're finding more and more ways to have that gpu take the load off the cpu and so by having a, a studio laptop, you're getting full advantage of that with our drivers, with that support that we're doing. It's like what we call the invisible advantage. There's a team of people making things work in the back end so that your laptop works the best that it can work. NVIDIA Studio RTX laptop is a great investment. And that and that's the thing, you're, you're investing in your future. If you're getting into graphic design, you're investing in your career and workflow if you're already in it. And I think like once you start using it, you'll really see that it's it's crucial. It's a it's a necessity in your in your workflow. And it might get to the point where you want more, but you want like I want to beef your GPU now. I only got the the 3070, but now I want the 3090. So like you you might want more, but the thing is you can get so much out with any Studio RTX branded laptop. Thanks UX for having me. Name again is Brian Perez and um, you know, get on there and start designing. <laughs> Take your graphic design to the next level by picking up an Nvidia Studio Badge laptop. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. And we just unboxed this. We did that joke. Is this kind of a hat on a hat? No, this is.